So this fine looking pair of Leslie's is my latest project. This is my recreation of a split manifold RS5T. Now there were three railroads, B&O, C&O, and GM&O, that had GP30s that had a split manifold S5Ts on them. Now usually this worked out to be a three chime U manifold horn on the engineer's side of the cab and a two chime horn on the conductor's side. Now in my recreation, I have on the left a uh, early 90s RSU3L, uh, Tampa, Florida. Um, it's got a tag and everything else on it and on the right I have um, a two chime horn that has a Bells 37 and 55. Now, um, there's no official Leslie designation for the two chime. Uh, on the split manifold S5Ts, usually these were either uh, an S3P and an S2A or an SU3B and an S2A, so something like that. Although sometimes this combination would also show up. Now, an interesting note about the about both these horns. Um, the two chime horn here is actually a uh, chopped down U manifold. Um, this was another chopped up manifold that I rescued from a horn blaster. Some guy had it on a semi truck. Um, was able to mostly refurbish it and actually I think it works pretty good for this purpose. Now another interesting note here about the RSU3L is that the top of the manifold is stamped 25, 44, and 31 to show where the bells go. And I think that's pretty cool. I've never actually seen that on any other Leslie before. Um, so, now my horn rack on my car is only set up for one horn mounting currently, although I plan to change that so I can mount at least two at a time. So for now, uh, in order to test this out as a fully functional RS5T, I have to uh, get a little creative here. So since my car roof rack only fits one horn at a time, something that will be corrected as time and funds allow. Um, the only way to use this horn to its full potential as a split manifold 5T um, is to mount one horn on my roof rack and then another horn on my test stand and uh, blow them both together stationary. So that's what I'm going to do.